right, joining me in the Whale Studio this morning is Michael Ross. He's the Regional Director for the Rescue Mission. Hi, Michael. Hey, Doug. Thanks for having me on. It seems like we did this last year around this time. An event that uh, has turned from daylight to night as you've uh, done the uh, Freeze Out 5K. Uh, last year it was a night event. Yes. First time. Yep. And uh, we're going to stick with it. Everyone loved it. You know, it's fun. A lot of glow and the dark accessories, courses lit, and it's a challenge. Yeah. Well, it's in February, too, so that's a little crazy, but... Which it is, because it's a run and a walk, and it's at night. It's at 7 p.m., uh, February 24th at Highland Park in Enwell. And, but I do like it, because it really pops with the lights and yep. everything. Yeah, and it's different. You know, I mean, there's so many 5Ks out there, and, and we wondered, you know, do we want to keep doing this? But our turnout has always been great, and I think, you know, it is that challenge, but there's an awareness aspect of it. So people are in the cold, and, and they're realizing that, hey, there are actually people that live in this, and they, they don't have a place to go at night. So while you're there with music in the warm gym waiting for them when they're done running, you know, our hope is that there's an awareness that, hey, there, there are folks in our community that need our help and our support. Which leads me into my next question. Talk to us about the rescue mission. Sure. Well, this is our sixth year in, in the Binghamton community. You know, fact-wise, we're a 32-bed facility for men who were either uh, experiencing homelessness or at risk for homelessness. Uh, but what does that really mean? I mean, really, we're a community. We provide uh, housing, of course, three meals a day. We provide transportation. Uh, we have a wonderful case manager who works with our residents to help them find uh, medical help. So get them uh, into a doctor and get them stabilized, mental health if they need it, um, and then work with their sobriety if they're coming in and they are in recovery from substance abuse. Um, we're a great place for, for someone to really get back on their feet and you know have hope again, really. And how can people find out more about the rescue mission? So the rescue mission, you can just uh, our Facebook is a great place to go, just Binghamton Rescue Mission, or you can go to our website, uh, BinghamtonRescueMission.org. Uh, we always invite people to come by. Um, I'm out and about in the community, so you know, look me up, and you know, we'll be able to talk for sure. And a great way to help support the rescue mission is to attend uh, one of the events coming up, as we mentioned, the uh, Freeze Out 5K, which is going to be at Highland Park this year. Talk to us about that. I know there's a lot of people out there that itching to run in the in the winter time, <laughs> and even walk. You can walk too. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, it's it's a 5K, and I think a lot of walkers here. Oh, 5K, that's pretty daunting in the winter. It's a two-loop course, so it's great for walkers because they can do one loop if they want, and that's a mile and a half. Um, there's a lot of solidarity there with with the runners. It's great for. We've seen kids. Uh, we've had guys and, and and women that are you know hardcore runners, and they sprint that whole course and uh, every everything in between. You know, it's nice because it's a little bit of a hilly course, and so there's a little bit of a challenge there. Uh, but I think as you see everyone running, yeah, it's you, you realize you're a part of a, something bigger. It's nice, and it's a nice, safe way to do it within the confines of the park. And then afterwards, you come back to the, to the nice, warm uh, yep. confines of the their uh, gym. Yeah, their gym. the gym yeah. right there at Highland Park. I mean, the town of Union has been amazing uh, to work with. We love working with them. They love having us there. So, you know, they make sure that the course is free of ice. It's a safe run. It's lit. Come out. Check it out. We had a great turnout last year. Last year was my first t- yeah. time involved in it, and I really enjoyed myself a lot. Now, afterwards, when we come back to the gym, uh, I know that you had raffles and different things, too, right? Oh, yeah. So we there's a huge table with a bunch of different raffles. I, I think you won one. You I, did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, you know, there's a lot of fun just uh, outside of the race as well. We have different groups that will come in and, and tables. Uh, so we've had BU students set up to talk about their upcoming fundraisers for them. So our job is really, yeah, we want folks to support us, but we want to support other people in the community as well. This is great. So it's pretty easy to sign up. Tell everybody how they can get signed up. Easiest way is uh, go to the website, which is freezeout5k.com, and you'll be able to choose uh, the Binghamton race. We have one in Syracuse, uh, but you'll scroll down, look for Binghamton, and uh, you'll sign up right there. So you can do that. It's very easy. Uh, freezeout5k.com is another way you can register. Come join us, so bundle up, and uh, we'll have some fun. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun. Um, I was actually just talking to uh, the state troopers, and last year they had their canine units out, and they ran the course. Uh, looks like they're going to do that again this year. Uh, I know a lot of people were you know, excited to see dogs on the course and running, so yeah. It was a great event last year. Again, if you're jonesing for a run or you just want to walk, you want to come out and support the rescue mission, this is a great way. The Glow in the Dark Outdoor 5K Run and Walk coming up on uh, Friday, February 24th. Highland Park in Enwell begins at 7 p.m., so uh, looking forward to it. Anything that we need to say in closing? Yeah, just uh, you know, come out and support us, and whether you run or whether you walk, come on out. Good to see you, and I'll be you there too, too, so make sure you come see us and we'll have a good time. All right. Thanks, Doug. Thank you, Michael.